Mary had a little man. Ma, ma, ma. We believe that all men are created equal. The magnificent mosaic that is America. A radio beacon to radio beacon. I have a dream. Change has come to America. Believe me. Help is on the way. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hey. It's a figment of your imagination. Randy Road Show. Turn up your mind. Justice must be done. But I caution this while you feel that rage. Don't be consumed by it. After 9-11, we were enraged in the United States. While we sought justice and got justice, we also made mistakes. I'm the first U.S. president to visit Israel in time of war. I've made wartime decisions. I know the choices are never clear or easy for the leadership. There's always cost, but it requires being deliberate. It requires asking very hard questions. It requires clarity about the objectives and an honest assessment about whether the path you're on will achieve those objectives. <clears throat> the vast majority of Palestinians are not Hamas. Hamas does not represent the Palestinian people. I was very proud uh, to be uh, an American yesterday. I was very, very proud of the President of the United States. And, uh, you know, I've been doing nothing but uh, sitting in a dentist chair all day yesterday uh, and listening to right wing uh, freaky uh, talk radio. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I just I mean, they are insane. You understand that they're insane. These, these people who, uh, you know, are willing to say when Jews will not replace us is the chant du jour. These are the people who will say, um, you know, there were good people on both sides of, of the thing. Uh, you know, when Elders of Zion, you know, a, uh, uh, an anti-Jewish conspiracy theory is uh, propounded or perpetuated by the right wing uh, or, you know, like uh, horrific anti-Semitic uh, crap is being thrown on the lawns of people in little baggies with uh, rocks that make them not blow away. So you're sure to get up in the morning and see the hatred, see the swastika, see the, uh, you know, intimidation and the threat on your uh, freaking front lawn. They say nothing, okay? Okay. Uh, but the conspiracy crowd, you know, the people who believe in George Soros and he's, you know, Jewish space lasers. Oh, yeah. They're all pro-Israel now. Well, welcome on in. It's really sick. It's really twisted. It's like whatever, whatever, um, you know, happens in the world, they're on the other side of it. No, no matter what. It's just it's it's very sick. I mean, these are people that walked around screaming Jews will not replace us uh, uh, to the point where I just uh, yell back. Yes, we will, you know, to infuriate them. I mean, what are we, like 1% of the world's population? Oh, please, move along. But the idea that the President of the United States is trying to tell you exactly what I'm trying to tell you, what people of goodwill in this country to the, I mean, it's like 70, 80% of us get this, okay? 70, 80% of America get this. They know Hamas is a terrorist organization. They also now know that the 2.2 million people who live in Gaza are not Hamas, that of those people, about 20,000 are Hamas. And every time we get numbers of uh, dead people there, you have to stop for a brief moment and ask yourself, how many of those are Hamas? Because they're not telling you that. No, they're not. Uh, the, the media is being uh, really disingenuous and ugly. This whole hospital thing, remember the other day, uh, yesterday, I apologize, I was out. You know, I was in the dentist chair all day, for those of you who are loyal clients. Uh, for those of you who are just catching on to the uh, fabulousness that is me, um, I had a massive amount of dental work. I still have a lot to go, a lot to go. But, uh, you know, we're doing it, spacing it out, like maybe taking a day, a month, and doing the dental work. Just saying. But uh, So I apologize. But when, when that hospital thing, when the bombing happened the day before, I knew Israel would not have been the culprit. Israel does not bomb hospitals. Even crazy Benjamin Netanyahu, who you should always think of as Donald J. Trump. They are the same. They are narcissists. They are uber right-wing maniacs, okay, both of them. A lot of the problems that Israel has with the denigration of their democracy with the, uh, you know, abject, uh, you know, just lash out and, 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 and bomb things OK, is because they have a right wing lunatic prime minister who's been their right wing lunatic prime minister for what? 20 years. Yeah, it's a problem. It's a huge problem. 
But the idea that, 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 that uh, you know, they're taking information from Hamas, from Hamas. You know, when you hear um, reports, I just heard one just now, uh, where they say the Palestinian Health Authority is reporting X, the Palestinian Health Authority is Hamas because Hamas is the government of Gaza. So bad government people, bad government. And you know what? We have it too. Look what's going on in our freaking House of Representatives. This is what the right wing does to good government. They destroy it. They drive it into a ditch. They denigrate it. They make you not trust it because they, in the end, are all about no government. They, in the end, are all about autocracy. They, in the end, are all about I alone can fix it, strong man can do it, and they are constantly feeding you stuff to make you doubt and distrust your own government. It's what's happened in Israel. It's what's happened in Gaza. It's what's happened in the House of Representatives. It's what Donald Trump represents. The, the distrust that the lying engenders makes it nearly impossible to navigate your way through difficult situations when, when, when it really becomes necessary to know who to trust. But this idea, I mean, we, we, we were sitting here, what was it, um, Tuesday? Yeah, yesterday was Wednesday, today's Thursday. I'm all, I'm all off because I got my hair done today, and today is Thursday, and yesterday was Wednesday, and I didn't get my hair done, and that just screws my whole understanding of the week. Screws it to the wall. Okay, so Tuesday we were sitting here, and I was listening to, uh, and I didn't want to name anybody, and I still won't, but I was listening to people say, Israel just bombed the hospital. And I'm like, oh, my God, that is coming straight from Hamas. And I was telling you, it, do it doesn't seem like a thing. It couldn't po it And it wasn't. It was unreal. It wasn't true. It was false. It was reported by Hamas. It's a terrorist organization. It also made no sense on this level. The president of the United States was on his way to Israel, and he had several meetings planned with several Arab leaders in the neighborhood. He was meeting with uh, King Abdullah of Jordan. He was meeting with uh, al-Sisi of, of Egypt. Now, he's a strong man, just so you know. But he was going to meet with all of the different players, Lebanon. He was going to meet everybody who would meet with him so that he could discuss getting aid into Gaza for ordinary Palestinians who are being tortured by their own government, who are being used by their own government as human shields, who are being sacrificed uh, by errant missiles, errant rockets that are uh, being uh, launched by terrorist groups. In this case, it was Islamic Jihad, Palestinian Islamic Jihad. It was one of their rockets. It, mis it misfired. And that's what I was saying. This, this, I looked at videotape of it live on the air while I was actually sitting here. And I said, that doesn't look right. That looks like an errant missile that zigzagged and hit the ground and, uh, you know, uh, blew up in a parking lot. And that is what happened. But Hamas wanted the Arab street to lose its mind. They want to uh, engender so much hatred in the region for Israel defending itself against what was a massive, massive terrorist attack a massive terrorist attack, over a 1,000 people killed, kidnapping 200 people, grandmas and, and babies and, and, and parents. And by the way, the GoPros, you know, this really bothered me. There's a caller, uh, you, you know who you are, I don't remember your name, I'm sorry, but you called me and you were livid about, I, don't, I couldn't even tell like what your argument was, but you, was, you, you started with me by saying that, well, even the United States military uh, does GoPros, you know, they, they put them on their helmets. Yeah, but they don't stream the killing to the Facebook page of the parent of the child, okay? And they don't stream to the Facebook page of the, the, the grandparent of the child that they're killing or the grandparent of the baby. And that is what they did. That is what they did. So anyway, there, there's no... Uh, there's no uh, sym sym symmetry in this? There's no symmetry in this. One is a terrorist organization, and the other is a nation defending itself from a terrorist organization. But when the president went there yesterday, and he said to them exactly what I've been saying, don't make decisions when you're angry. Don't just start bombing crap, uh, you know, willy-nilly. Don't the siege thing. That is something I can't abide by, okay? I can't, I can't say 
that you have a right to do what the Russians did to Ukraine. Cut off electricity, cut off heat, cut off food, cut off wheat. Okay, you, I, 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 I was never good with that. I will never be good with that. That is just, that's a war crime. I'm sorry. And the guy asked me, so if you find, you know, if, that, if, if that's happening, is that a war crime? I said, absolutely it is. Absolutely. And if they bomb the hospital, that's a war crime. Absolutely. You got to get clear. Don't have time to listen to the live show? Want to hear more on your schedule? Go to randyroads.com and buy a stinking podcast.